The University of Tennessee was number one in the country in defensive efficiency. And when you turn on the film, there's things that jump out to you. As we watch this, I'm going to give you six of them that I found. One, you're going to see a lot of ball pressure. See them really disrupt the opponent's ball handler. Not always getting steals, but disruption is key. They contest shots and they make you take tough shots. They play with physicality and toughness on the defensive end. They're always down the stance and they're always active. Fifth thing I see them do is they stay ready and they don't get ready. And then the last thing we're going to look at is some of their drop coverage against ball screen action. So let's dive into the film and take a look. So you'll notice right away, Tennessee just really gets up into the ball here. They're going against Duke and the NCAA tournament. And look at the disruption they're causing just trying to run a simple ball screen where they hurry up the... The offensive player, the ball handler here, gets off his feet. They stay in that bubble. They get a switch here and force a really tough, get even a piece of that uh, three-point shot there. But the activity on the ball, that's what I really want you to look at this. Look at the feet. Look at the hands. Really active. Again, right here, ball pressure again. Notice just staying in the bubble, making... It's hard to get down into scoring range. Duke's trying to run some action. They do a great job of covering up there and sitting in the gap. And again, if you're if you're Rick Barnes in Tennessee, you love these type of shots where you're forcing step back, contested, off balance threes. If you're forcing your opponents to do that consistently, you're going to win a lot of games. Again, right here, Tennessee does this really well a lot of times in transition where they they pick up the ball early. Watch this wing entry, and they're right there. They're outside the arc. They're meeting them early. They're saying, hey, I'm with you. I'm right here. They don't let the offense get comfortable. And you can even hear Stan Van Gundy here, former NBA coach, the announcer on the call, talking about ball pressure. And right here, when you look at their activity on defense, again, they're, run, they're running them off the three-point line, funneling them into bigs here, you know, big guys who can block and alter shots. But just their activity on the ball is so good. But you can't also leave this unnoticed, which is their one-pass-away defenders. Look how active they are here. So right here, you see this guy one pass away. He's ready. He's seeing balls, seeing man. You see all their guys, if you watch them closely, all their guys have their head on a swivel. They're constantly looking peripheral. They're seeing their man, seeing the ball. And that's a sign of a well-coached defense. Again, look at this. They're getting up here. They're making these passes tough. They're right back in the bubble. There's a switch. Yeah, they're just kind of creeping into that space of the ball handler. Tennessee will switch a lot of ball screens like you see him do here. Again, running them off the three-point line, funnel them into the bigs, forcing tough shots. Okay, again, NCAA tournament game, Sweet 16. And just look at how they're always down and ready. I mean, their guys do not stand up and relax. They're down in an athletic position, and they're ready to compete. They're ready to defend. And just the activity just jumps off at you on film, how active they are. They're active with their feet, active with their hands. Look at this. They're I mean, these aren't easy actions to, to guard. FAU, Florida Atlantic is, is you know, coming, sprinting off these things. But you love those shots if you're a defensive coach. You like the contested three-point shots. And 
Another thing to point out, they really move on airtime. They do not let their man catch the ball and then react. That's what a lot of defenses do. Tennessee moves on airtime. They get there on the pass. Boom, they're moving in the air. Boom, they're moving. They're arriving when the ball arrives to the ball handler's hands. Again, another contested three. And you can't take away everything as a defense. When you're ball pressuring, you're going to give up some things. And if contested three is what you're giving up, again, it's a sign of a good defense. All right, here we are right here again. Tennessee going against Florida Atlantic. They guard the dribble very well. They'll switch these. Again, very active on the ball. I mean, they, they sprint to their closeouts. They run these shooters off, off their mark. A catch and shoot three is a much higher percentage than a off the dribble, especially a step back. So right here, you notice, boom, they're sprinting. He's going to run them off his line, forces a dribble pull up. Now, you would like to see them finish it with a rebound. And one thing you'll notice here, they turn to try to find their man. Doesn't make contact. And so he's able to go get that rebound. Little fake handoff with a switch. Again, look at the activity on the ball. They, they get their hands up really well on all their contests. Let's run that back one more time. They get their hands up on all shots. Look, they're ready to play the drive, then they get up and go contest, finish it with a rebound. All right, right here, we're going to take a look at Again, watch the ball pressure, but they're going to get into a ball screen here eventually, and they're going to see a little drop coverage into a switch. So right here, got a ball screen. The big is dropping, and then it just turns into a switch. And they do this often, I notice, especially in the NCAA tournament. Let's run it back one more time. So this big right here, he's keeping the ball in front, and that's key. As a bigger player, sometimes bigs get out there and hedge too hard. They get vulnerable to getting beat off the dribble, but he's using his size, a seven-footer, and he's backing off and keeping the ball in front and making this player, if he's going to shoot, then he can use his length to can ultimately contest. But a lot of bigs make the mistake, again, exposing themselves by hedging too hard or getting too far out, or the coach puts him in that position, and you know, you're know you doomed for failure. Let's let it run some more. So again, here, this player is going to get it back, boomerang it back. He's going to size him up. You know, and again, you cannot stop everything. You can't stop everything as a defense. That's key. But in this situation, as a coach, you would probably live with that contested over a seven foot or a couple feet behind a three point line rather than the guy beating you off the bounce, getting in the paint, forcing you into rotation. So I want to see, I want to again show you right here. This is off the offensive rebound. Eventually there's going to be ball screen action right here. You see the ball screen. There's a, there's a clean switch. He's going to keep it in front. He's gapping them. He's giving them space. Does a pretty good job of moving his feet there. Again, you get another switch here and he keeps him in front. In the shot clock, forces a really tough shot over the top of a, of a big, a seven-footer in this case. Love the early pickup and transition that Tennessee often does. They pick that ball up early. Let's run it back one more time. Let's just, right here, just picking it up early. They're getting into some ball screen action. Again, you get the drop coverage into a switch. Very similar from a couple clips ago. This time he's able, even though this ball handler gets to the paint, he still keeps him in front and he's really not vulnerable. So right here, he's going to get a, get some, get two feet in the paint. Yet the size advantage of the defender, he's still in a, in a really good spot. So what could be perceived as two feet, great job, but you're shooting over a seven footer, you know, that's a, that's a win for the defense. And Tennessee does a really good job of walling up, not bailing guys out on going for big blocks. 
Get back to the Duke game here. All right. Really love this. And Duke actually used to do this really well back in the day with Coach K's early teams where they would load to the ball and really support. So right here, this is a big for Tennessee, who is his man's down here, but he's down in support, allowing his teammate to recover. And he's loading up to the ball to shrink the floor. And now his teammate can get it, get back in front. He can recover back to his man. And now we're stopped. Now we get to play our half court. Again, you got another ball screen action. A drop coverage. They're going to re-screen it. Got another drop coverage. And really good job of just walling up, not bailing out the drive here. Good job. This is, a, this is going to be a tough finish. You just make the guy. There's so many times that defensive players bail out the offensive player by going for the big block or being reckless or undisciplined on the defensive end. And good defenders, they stay disciplined. They don't bail them out. Make him finish. Even the best finishers in the world don't finish at a high rate contested over the top of defenders. All right, right here, I want you to notice Tennessee's physicality on defense, their toughness. I mean, just right here, they're bumping you and they're not letting, they, Lively right here for Duke wants to go set a screen for his teammate to pop and get open and separate and get some space from the defender, but he really can't even do it because of the physicality. So now he pops, they run a little fake handoff, just trying to occupy those defenders, creating the attack off the dribble. But this is what I love. Anytime a player is attacking and takes off of one foot, always just stay disciplined and wall up. Make them shoot over you. Don't go for the big block. For every big block and the oohs and ahs you get, you're going to get 10 fouls. So you're better off just being conservative and solid. You can be aggressive, but just don't bail them out with the fouls. And Tennessee does a good job of that. Little back screen into ball screen action. You know, and Duke, Duke does a good job getting into the paint here. Let's run it back one more time. So just simple back screen into ball screen. They're going to reject it. These defenders, a lot of average defenses right here, they would get caught up on the weak side, hugging their man. But Tennessee is always alert. All five of their players are always alert, and especially their four off-ball defenders. When you know, when you watch enough film of them, you see them always alert. And you see right here, what is a beat? A nice little two-foot jump stop, but the help side comes over. They close that space off, and that's a tough shot. You'd say, well, it's a layup. It's, it's a tough shot. There, there's a reason why layups aren't converted at a really high percentage, especially when they're contested. And those are just a few reasons why Tennessee is year in and year out one of the best defenses in the country. If you like that video, be sure to hit subscribe and follow us along for more videos like that.